Um, hi, my name's Carl, 18, and I am a Marxist. Um, how do you feel about the communist and Marxist history around Manchester? Like, is that a big reason that you come in here? I've always wanted to come to Manchester, um, but when I got here and I realised quite a lot happened, um, it's just an added bonus, like they had the Peterloo Massacre, Karl Marx and Engels wrote the manifesto in Manchester, had a little meeting, a statue of, him, statue of him outside the cinema, um, so it's got a very rich, very rich history of political activism, suffragette movements, stuff like that. Um, so what's it like being a Marxist in Manchester? Nothing really, it's exactly the same as being a normal, not normal, as not being a Marxist. Um, just instead I do still sell newspapers, do postering, attend talks and stuff like that. It's exactly the same as a not being a Marxist, just with added things. People tend to treat you differently in the street when you're selling newspapers or anything? Some you get the occasional rude comment, but most people just ignore me. It's not like not, some people are nasty and rude or will make comments about it, but most of the people just ignore them, pretend you're not like there. But it's nothing cynical. What, um, obviously there's a Marxist society in the university. How do those meetings sort of take place? Like, um, there's two meetings a week. There's the society, which is on a Wednesday, which is open to the public and other students, which is basically sit in a big room and there'll be a lead off on Ireland, Russia, uh, the UK at the moment, things like that. So there'll just be a big discussion. And there's a meeting on a Monday where the paying members of the international Marxist tendency sit around in a big room, probably about 10 of us, so it's not that many, and we discuss what we're going to do, how to run the group, um, different positions, different events coming up talk about fundraising, new recruits, how to get new members in, stuff like that really. So it's like an inner circle within a big society, basically. How does it affect your um, uni work in any way? It probably helps in a way, because I do sociology, and one of the sociologists, one of the founding fathers was, Karl Marx, and so when you look at things in sociology a lot of the time you can revert it back to your studies because you've learnt it in society and through campaigning and then you can actually see it in what you're doing at uni so it can actually be very helpful. It's like, what are your overlaying Marx's beliefs? I guess. The big one would be the wanted overthrow of capitalism, would be the main one. Um, and everything else basically falls under that. Okay.